Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to the end of Future Stars and the beginning of Road to the Final. Today, we've got a brand new promo, which if you don't know how it works, I'll explain it very, very simply. Previously, we had Road to the Knockout cards. You will have seen them. You may have some in your club. If not, then let me show you an example. If we go to quality and we go to road to the knockouts, do I have any? I do. So, Bernardo Silva was a road to the knockouts card. The way that it works, if a team progresses or gets wins in the competition and they get to the next round, then they get upgraded. These, however, road to the knockout cards are now finished. They cannot be upgraded anymore. A lot of people still seem to be confused about that, but they can't be upgraded anymore. Whether they're in Champions League, UC, uh, UEL or UECL, they can't get upgraded. Road to the finals are the new ones that are coming out right now that will be upgraded. So, let's say if this Bernardo was a new road to the final card, every round that they progress between now and winning the competition is an upgrade. So you could potentially see someone go up like five ratings if they win the whole tournament. So it's an awesome promo. We are seconds away from seeing the new team that is going to contain UCL, UEL, and UECL, and there we go. So, Road to the Final is now here. First up, Road to the Finals, Martinez as an Ajax centre-back card. Medium high work rate. Decent pace, good passing, decent dribbling, good defending, good physical as well. Solid player is a pretty good summary, to be fair, I would say. Uh, what do you have to do for this, though? You can do it in rivals, or you can do it in squad battles. Solid. Road to the final, glory road. Compete in these objectives and card your own... Uh, uh, Carve your own road to the final. All rewards untradeable. So the main rewards, 100k pack. Win three matches in the live foot friendly final fanatics. Are they all in this? They are all in this. And you can get different packs for the amount of wins that you get in it. Okay. And the highest one is 21 wins. That's, that's a lot. Do we have a new milestones card? We do not. Okay, do we have any SBCs before we look at the full team in action? Let's go across to live. We do. Uh, we have... Oh, Showdown. Okay. So, Showdown, Rodrigo de Paul. Four star, three star. It's a shame he's not double four. That would be very, very nice. Uh... I mean, he's just, he's one of those cards. He's a very, very well-rounded card. Finesse shot trait as well. Decent. What's he coming in at? An 83 with an inform and an 86 with an inform. That's quite expensive, I won't lie. Who's he up against? Mr. Eric Bailly. Hell of a lot of people are going to get this card. Flashback Varane, player of the month, David De Gea as a triangle, and it's going to be disgusting to play against. Wow. Um, solid pace, good passing, decent dribbling, not outrageously good. Defending stats are good, but not great, although I guess with a shadow, they become nearly perfect. 71 stamina is fine, 91 strength, 92 aggression. <sighs> he's he's going to be a good card. Um... I'm assuming he costs exactly the same. 83 with an inform, 86 with an inform. So, relatively expensive. I feel like this should not cost the same amount as this because Bailly is going to get such incredible links to other players and SBCs. And I guess you do have a hyperlink here with Correa to DePaul with that player of the month. But the fact that Varane is still available, the fact that David De Gea if I can find him, is... Uh, oh, I must have gone past him. He is also still available. You have a triangle of Man United SBC players all available, with the earliest one expiring in a week. So, really, really easy. Now, before we look into... Oh, 
LFF Entry Refresh. Roads of the final is here, and with that, we're introducing a new element to Live Foot Friendlies. They can now have a set number of entries that refresh after a certain period of time. You can try this out today alongside the Glory Road objective. Players have five entries daily. For every three wins, players make progress towards completing the tournament-inspired objective group. Come back every day to compete. Interesting. So trying to get people to play the game mode every day rather than grind it all out in one day. And the highest that we needed was 21 wins, wasn't it? So how long is it out? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, where is it? Final Fanatics. 14 days. So you get 70 games. Or I guess 75 because... It will go down to, um, you've, you've got 11 hours, 24 minutes, I guess, before it refreshes. So, interesting. 75 games to get 21 wins. That's very, very easy, in theory. Will that stop people doing golden goal? Uh, maybe, maybe. So... If we have the card type, then what we'll do is we'll look at concepts. If not, then we will look at the post that EA have put out. Quality... Road to the final... No. Unless they're down as road to the knockouts. They're not. Okay. In that case, EA's tweet. Let's be having you. Let's have a little look at this. Why have you put the tweet out like this? That's just infuriating and makes it hard to see. Maybe they've got a proper post on their website. If not, then we'll have to go to the news section. Aha! Here we go. So, Road to the Final is here. European Knights are back. Blah, 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 blah. So you got UCL Road to the Final, uh, Europa League, and then Europa Conference League. Come on, we've got to win the whole thing. Beyond their initial boost at the start of the campaign, Road to the Final items have the potential for up to five additional dynamic upgrades. First knockout game win after campaign launch. So this does not include qualifiers. Qualifying for the quarterfinals, qualifying for the semifinals, qualifying for the final, and winning the tournament. So if you start off at an 89... Then you can go up to a 90... Oh, so you get a two boost if you win the whole thing. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, enjoy a series of SBCs, objectives, and more throughout the campaign. Uh, da, da, da. If these teams win the second leg of their knockout round match, they'll earn the first upgrade. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so... The team is as follows. Skrrr. Mane, Havertz, Taliso, Kim Pembe. Oh, no. Gareth Bale as a striker. Renato Sanchez. My God. Alex Tellez. Marcus Llorente. Sanchez. Why are you picking players that you've already given other different types of cards to? Like Winter Wild Cards or Signature Signings. I don't understand. Wow. Kim Pembe. I mean, we had Marquinhos last year, didn't we? Oh, no. We had his Road to the Knockout this year. Uh, and then the other cards. We've got Quadrado. Did he not have one in the past? Half of these players have had one. I swear. Ilicic. Okay. Papu Gomez definitely had a UCL one. Lozano and Ansu Fati. And then the last ones, Jared Bowen, Baller, Jamie Vardy, the party returns. You love to see it. Chris Smaldini and Kamara. Who would you like as the one player to be dropped into your club? Let me know.